Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cargos and today we are going to attempt to do a Warcraft 3 Reforged review. The current date and time is January 31st, 2020 and as it stands, Warcraft 3 Reforged has a score of 63 based on 6 critics and a, more interestingly, a user score of 0 0.8 based on 7,485 ratings. Um, and still rising. So what is going on here, guys? Today I aim to give you my two cents on the matter for whatever that's worth to you. Little context before we get started. Warcraft 3 is a legendary game to me. It's uh, I, did a, I did a YouTube video uh, on my channel, uh, top 20 games of all time, and you best believe Warcraft 3 has a spot there. Warcraft 3 was the, my first taste of the Warcraft universe. I didn't play Orcs vs. Humans or 2 or anything like that. And I played it as a little kid, falling in love with the, the sights and sounds and, and, and the characters and the world. Um, and then in latter years, continued to play Warcraft 3 multiplayer custom games. So, you know, even in high school, we used to run these custom games, play Defense of the Ancients in there. And so I've played a ton of this game. I mean, thousands of hours over the years. And uh, you can imagine how hype I was at two, uh, circa 2008 during BlizzCon when they announced it. Immediately pre-ordered it, and I was ready to go. I was ready to stay up to date with it, potentially, you know, make content around it, all that good stuff. So... Um, it felt like Blizzard just went radio silent after they announced it. No updates, no real communication on the matter. And uh, the time just kept passing. They missed the opportunity of releasing it before Classic World of Warcraft came out, which I was a little surprised by. And then 2018 was over, 2019 was coming to an end. And I was thinking to myself, it says at the bottom, guaranteed by the end of 2019, when are they gonna come out with this? And it still didn't come out after 2019. Here we are in January and they finally released it. So, um, I've been playing it the last couple days on stream, and I'm gonna try to be just objective as possible here. Talk about what I've experienced personally, and I'm, not, I'm gonna try my best to not hop on either bandwagon, either Blizzard bashing or defending Blizzard or whatever. So before we do that though, I wanna read you the most upvoted user review on Metacritic, and you can just take it however you want. It's this review here by Fereldar 172 out of 183 users found this helpful. So what he says is that his disappointment is so massive I made a Metacritic, Metacritic account just to review this. This must border on criminal of what they've sold to us compared to what was promised. Their silence on it is deafening. Get your refunds whilst you can because this is another blizzard expletive. I'm not going to continue from there but I think that summarizes a lot of people's thoughts on this. So. I've been playing this game a good amount in these past couple days, and it has revitalized my interest in Warcraft 3. Since since I started playing it, I've been that's been the content I've been consuming on YouTube. I've been watching all of all of Grubby's videos, I've been watching build orders for Night Elves, Undead, Orcs, trying to learn the races again, trying to learn the, the meta, the items, um, all that good stuff. So I'm having fun with the game. I've been playing a lot of multiplayer. Uh, but with that said, a lot of issues as well, and I'm gonna be talking about some of these issues now. So I'm going to pop over to the game now. Here we go. We have it up. We have it running. So this is what I was greeted with when I first booted up Warcraft 3. A pretty badass looking loading screen or menu. Really nice. The pitter patter of the rain. Good ambience. The orcish banner here. It looks ragtag, rugged, gritty. The, the color palette, the lightning in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love this, right? Sadly, it kind of started to go downhill um, from this loading screen. So I loaded up the campaign and uh, started playing through it. And right off the bat, the art style of the new and enhanced models was uh, just not just not um, that inspiring to me. Okay, I, I prefer the old models where the characters look a little more simple and uh, Arthas and Uther look like just more simple like if, you, if you've been following blizzard content and you've been playing hearthstone heroes of the storm bfa it very much uh reflects the art direction they've since moved right it's kind of more cartoony all the characters look kind of have these hyperbolic big armor sets they look like heroes right out of heroes of the storm pretty much in my mind and i'm not i'm not a huge fan of the new models now i definitely understand i'm in the minority here because most people i come across said at least the models look good they like the models a lot um but that was one thing so a bit of controversy on the models in particular. 
there's a good chance that they outsource the development of those models to a third party company. And you may think that's okay, Blizzard's still getting the job done, right? They're still moving from point A to point B. But to me, it blows my mind. Warcraft 3 is this legendary game. It's their baby that they nurtured and became so legendary and, and made their company a huge success and, um, you know, really helped grow their company significantly. And to outsource that work on your baby, it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me, especially when you're such a well-capitalized and huge company. So that was kind of a red flag for me. Um, again, you may not flinch at it. But... Let's, I'm going to talk about more of the um, gameplay issues now. So I have, a, I have a pretty substantial list. I'll talk about some of the main ones. Massive and sporadic random frame rate drops and performance issues. Whether it could be campaign, could be versus. If you were to make like an abrupt mo a movement, very high likelihood that the game is going to kind of seize up for a second and then resolve and be fine. What this ends up being is it's very difficult to micro your units now I'm a wood tier player, so I'm I'm not, I'm not grubby over here. I do my best, but um, if I were much more skilled at this game, I, I assume that would make the game like DOA for me. It would it would drive me nuts if you were playing at a high level and you couldn't micro your guys effectively. That was one thing. I'm playing on all low settings to try and combat that, and it's still having that issues. I don't have this issue with any other game. I just recently, in the past couple months, replaced my graphics card. Computer is running every other game, uh, fine. So that is. That definitely feels bad. Next thing is that I'm a lefty and there's no custom keybind menu in this, which is pretty much table stakes for an RTS game in 2020. You look at Age of Empires 2, you look at uh, StarCraft 2, the remastered StarCraft, they all have key binding, like uh, a key binding menu, right? And it's it's sort of like playing WoW or League of Legends where you, you uh, imagine playing these types of games and the key binds are set and you can't change them. Now Blizzard does have an option here, I'll pull it up where it says, it's in the menu, right? Options, input, preset key bindings. You can choose custom. But what they want you to do is go into your files. This is what it says, enable specific hotkey overrides per unit and per ability. This can be accomplished by creating a file called customkeys.txt in your Warcraft 3 beta user data under custom key bindings. A little confusing there why it says Warcraft 3 Beta. I'm not sure. I wasn't really following. I followed this file name here, went there, didn't have to create the custom keys.txt file that they said it was already there. Opened it up in Notepad. It was this huge wall of text that I went into and I tried my best and I, I put the new keybinds in there, saved it, thought everything was going to be good, loaded up the game, didn't work. All the keybinds basically broke. And I, I just kind of gave up at that point. Um, so I deleted the, deleted it, rebooted the game, and everything returned to normal. So I had no luck with this. While we're here, though, since we see this little toggle here, this is one thing on a more positive note that I appreciate that Warcraft 3 did. And it's to have this little switch that allows you to toggle between classic and reforged graphics. So if you are in the similar boat to me where you don't enjoy the new models, you want that old nostalgic feeling, you like the simpler um, look and feel of the game, you have that ability to switch back into the classic mode. Um, so that is a, definitely very, a very nice touch that they did that. Um, so that's the frame rate drops. Random um, just appears randomly. Also, there's some sound issues. The game would kind of just, the sound would work and then some, sometimes not work. <clears throat> Most of these issues could be resolved by restarting the game. So I've had to restart this game a tremendous amount of times. The other thing is that it always boots on the wrong monitor for me, so I have to kind of make it windowed mode, drag it onto the right monitor, make it full screen windowed every time I restart. So that kind of is uh, pretty, it's kind of annoying. Um, the other thing that feels bad is that there's no MMR, there's no rank system or anything like that in the multiplayer. It's extremely bare bone multiplayer. Now, gun to my head, if I had to be a betting man, I think they're going to implement that. They pretty much have to, right? But in its current form, the multiplayer is extremely lackluster. You can just join and leave games freely. You're playing against any random player with any random skill level. Um, very, very bare bone. With that said, I'm still having a ton of fun with it. And I've been having a ton of fun with this game in general. But I guess my overall consensus is that I'm having fun with this game not because of the reforged elements like the new models mainly just because warcraft 3 is a great timeless game now on a more positive note 
there's some beautiful artwork and imagery here like just even looking at the shield right now beautiful these loading these these sort of background screens are beautiful and warcraft 3 reforge is allowing you to play this old 17 year old game in 4k in 1920 by 1080p you love to see it so that's good um, pretty much in every screen though i can point out bugs and issues i've had so we're on this screen right now right there's about a 50 50 chance that if i hit find match right now <clears throat> that it's going to work what do i mean by that all the time like 50 50 i've been streaming it the past couple days you've watched me queue up and get owned right if i hit find match about 50 50 shot that i get just perpetually stuck in a queue never find a match i have to alt f4 out restart it so there's that bug as well overall the game does not feel polished there's a lot of issues with it people are saying that um you know it's a few steps backwards on many fronts so um that that is what it is i think they are going to implement an mmr and an, or an elo system so another uh, eventually another thing that that kind of feels bad is that they did close down the old warcraft 3 servers now it makes sense why they did that they're just trying to cons consolidate environments <clears throat> but some of the people who have been active in the warcraft 3 scene playing the matches participating in tournaments casting the tournaments streaming making content all this they're pretty much stuck with reforge now reforge is getting a really bad reputation they're missing a lot of the functionality they had in the, in the old warcraft 3 and they're kind of just take it, taking a big l here and it's even sadder when you think that when i go back and i watch some of these tournament vods like i was doing that last night i was watching the world championship between happy and moon they did a really fantastic best of five series that i was just on the edge of my seat watching they were speaking about Warcraft 3 Reforged with such reverence, with such high hopes that this was going to revitalize the Warcraft 3 scene and community. There's going to be more tournaments, more money, more hype. And um, it seems like potentially the opposite is happening. And now they're stuck with this worst version of the game. So you hate to see it. Let's switch gears a little bit here. And let's go to, um, let's go to the custom game functionality. <clears throat> so custom games here same issue it's pretty hit or miss sometimes you can join these sometimes you can't i've had issues creating games Some, sometimes it just for no reason appears like i can't make a game i'll just hit create over and over again it won't create the game for me um but the custom games they appear to be here i guess the controversy with regard to this is that blizzard has since revised their tos or pri privacy policy whatever you want to call it user policy <clears throat> where anything that you create in the editor is completely blizzard property and there's nothing you can do with it. You can't um, spawn some new game type. You know, if you remember, if you, if you know some of these uh, these strategy chests, these uh, battle chests, whatever they're calling it these days, and also Defense of the Ancient Ancients Dota, which is a huge esport now, were were spawned uh, really from Warcraft Three custom games. So it kind of is a bad look that they're doing that. Now I don't know if this is unusual though I, I feel like this may just be kind of table stakes standard practice legalese that they're putting into the terms of service every company's doing it and you know i play world of warcraft i don't feel like i own my character in world of warcraft i don't think i own the gear or anything like that i know it's totally it's just pixels blizzard owns it all right but one of the pieces of uh of text in this policy that was kind of disturbing and just sounds bad was that you sacrifice or you forfeit your moral rights so even if you were to come up with some amazing game type, Blizzard doesn't even have to credit you. And you can kind of, you know, interpret that however you want to take it. But it was kind of a bad look. So people are a little bit upset that it feels like Blizzard's being kind of greedy here. And they're trying to stifle creativity because what is the incentive to work really hard, make these awesome game types, make these amazing custom games if you're not even going to get credit for making the custom game, let alone monetize it. So um, that is potentially an issue that you might face. I think that's pretty much it. My initial thoughts. What would I rate Warcraft 3 Reforged? I have a bit of cognitive dissonance here, guys, because I'm having fun with the game. It is a fun game to play. There's some good, but there's a lot of bad. It's tough. If I had to, if I had to remove everything warcraft 3 related from the reforge and just talk about the way they executed this remaster or revision to the game and compare it to other revisions of games like age of empires 2 the definitive edition that they came out with i'd probably 
be three out of ten or something like that right but warcraft 3 is still an amazing game i hope the community can find a path forward and find a way to get through it and hopefully blizzard will be receptive of all this negative feedback so far they've been pretty much radio silent again that's why that guy said the silence is deafening because it feels like they're not even responsive to this criticism hopefully blizzard can you know work with the community and get the game back in a serviceable state so that people that are diehard warcraft 3 fans can continue to have a home and place and keep the game uh going right <clears throat> so the overall consensus guys is that just the tldr they promised a lot and it appears like they under delivered they promised apparently and i wasn't there to verify this but the chat was going crazy said that they they did promise this they promised revised or revamped cinematics they did do that but only for one cinematic the first one um so that was one thing that they under delivered on and over promised the other thing is that they're promising like a more robust map editor and and other features there's um there's other stuff too as well um but they they failed to deliver on it to the point where people th are, are are wanting refunds and feeling like it's uh, false advertising so do your homework take with that what you will but in my mind, I'm going to continue to play Warcraft 3 Reforged. I'm probably just going to do so off stream for fun and just play some casual multiplayer games, which is a shame because if this game was a hit, I was thinking about maybe going for it here, man. Um, so anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.